All right, guys, welcome back to the Regal Gentleman YouTube channel, The Hunter Collective. Today, we've got Soren in the chair. How are you, mate? Nice to meet you. You good? Nice to meet you too. How's it going? Is this uh, is this lockdown here or? Uh, yeah. Okay, yeah. okay. So, the beginning of the lockdown. The, was it? Wow, yeah. okay. So, yeah. March, well, yeah, March of 23rd end, end for us, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, end of March, March yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah. cool. All right, so what, what what's the plan? What do you want to do? Yeah, so I'm not exactly sure what I want to do. Okay. Um, I would like your opinion. Yeah. Uh, Okay. Help me with an idea. Yeah, sure. So should we balance this into a longer hairstyle for you? Yeah, like, is that way yeah. it's meant to look like this? Yes. You know, more than it being like a, again, like a March, yeah. <laughs> March the twentieth haircut or whatever. Yeah, yeah. All right, sounds yeah. Okay, that sounds good. Because I think if, if you look at if you look at Soren's hair, right? He's. Can you just tell us what your last haircut was like? Well, what did you get done last? What was your last haircut? How was it cut? Uh, what did you have done? I have no idea. I completely forgot. You forgot? <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. So, okay. Because I think the thing is. What I'm looking at now is that you've got such a disconnection, right? And I'm sure if you can see this at home, right, is that if you look at the length of Soren's hair, right, it's very dry as well. So a lot of the time with long hair, you have to look after it as well. You have to spend time giving it a good, good shampoo, condition, aftercare products like hair oils and leave-in conditioners and things. You have to look after it. But I think back to your style today, I think what we should do, like you said, take a little bit off the bottom because it does look a little bit, it looks a little bit too feathered and a bit too kind of flicky, right? I think we need to kind of add a bit more shape to this, a bit more squarer shape as well. Because at the minute, it looks as though it's kind of very top heavy. It's been brought down here, it's all matching up, right? But I think we should try and give you a bit of something else to that. Yeah. Um, that will help you style it as well. But also a masculine finish as well. Yeah. For guys, it's all about the jawline, shape, face shape and things like that. So even with longer hair, you can still add a masculine vibe to that. You still add that. You can still emphasize the things we want to emphasize, which is jawline and face shape and things. So with the sides, we want to try and build the weight through here, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and maintain all the length through the sides here, okay? I'm going to bring everything back and then cut through the back a little bit. Yes. So this becomes long as well as the back. Because essentially what we're looking to try and do is get these side bits down to the same length as the, as the back here. So that way you've got a longer haircut, then you can start layering everything in that way. And then through the top, I think we should just connect and take quite a lot of length off the top. And I think the difference you'll see today, it will look like a hot long haircut because the back and the sides will be the longest point of this haircut in terms of what you see visually. All right, so I think that is the best thing to do if you're still trying to grow it as well. All right, yeah. happy with that? Cool, all right. Well, what we'll do, um, seeing as Soren's happy, we will give it a shampoo and a condition and then we'll, we'll get started putting some shape into it for you as well. All right, guys, so I've just shampooed and conditioned Soren's hair. Now, what we're looking at is, we can really see what it's like now when it's wet, can't we? What I've noticed as well, though, is that, have you been shaving, like, the underneath of no. the hair? No. Okay, so what he's got there is a little bit of breakage on the neckline. Now, that would, you could mistake that, like I did then, for being maybe like he's had a bit of an undercut. But actually, that looks as though it's just a bit of breakage. See there? So compared to all the length on top there, it's just slightly broke up. But what we can do there is we can just taper that in a little bit. Because that will actually, in some crazy way, will actually benefit us a little bit. Because all the neck hair through here is quite untidy anyway. So what we could do is we could actually taper that in a little bit and let the hair sit over it so it's got a bit more of a cleaner finish. Because it's hard to give a guy a clean and long and tidy haircut because essentially any long hair on a guy looks messy because of neck hair and sideburns and things. The way I try and do it is I try and do the sideburns nice and short and taper them in a little bit. So from the side and front on, it looks really sharp and clean and also the neck here. So if they do tend to tie it up or move it around, then that way it looks nice and tidy too. I'm gonna to start with a horseshoe section in this haircut because I wanna separate the back and sides completely because that's where my main focus is today. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a horseshoe and I'm gonna disconnect the sides from the back a bit. Now you won't notice it really when, obviously when you, once the cut's done, but you'll see as I'm doing it, you'll, I'll explain as we go along why I'm doing this technique. It's a really nice way of maintaining length with still having a graduation in there somewhere. So what it helps to do is maintain all the sides to the back of the ear and still be able to cut in the back of it and give a bit of shape, but maintain this hair to sit round and behind his ears. Because again, that's one of the things, if you think about it, when you're working with your clients and you see the little things they do where they kind of tuck the hair behind the ears, you know, th these are these are autopilot moments that your client does, like Soren does as well. It's an autopilot thing for you as you're tucking it behind your ear. Because again, I think it's an autopilot for any guy with long hair. So anything like that, I think you always want to try and keep in mind that he's going to do that on a daily basis. There's my horseshoe done. Just a very standard horseshoe, just off the round of the head. Drop down a little bit, that's all tied up nicely. And that separates the back and sides from the top. So I can never make a mistake at the crown, at the fringe, at the round of the head. I'm working with a small scissor today, okay? So you see, we want to do a line just there, okay? That's where our section wants to be. There we go. Now, we're going to take, bring all this back into this section. Essentially, what we're doing is we're leaving the, as much length as we can forward at the front here to be able to tuck around his ears. 
and this is going to get gradually matched into the back bit here. Pull it in and then pull all this into that section. Pull it straight towards me. And I want to take just a little bit off to match, okay? So I'm going to take about that much off just to be able to cut the shape into it, okay? So what we're doing is we're leaving the bottom the longest point and we're taking it shorter towards the top. That becomes the longest point. Now what we do, take another wide section. Now we're going to use our guide from before. Now as you're pulling our fingers out, start to look for your guide through your comb, okay? Pull your comb back. There you go, there's our guide. Just come through there. Follow that. Nice and straight. Now what I'm doing, I'm just breaking the back up and adding some shape to that. It follows the round of the head, it follows the shape of the head. But we always look at it like a diamond. So when I was taught this, it was always like, look at, the, look at the facets of a diamond. So you look at the top of a diamond, from a distance it looks completely round, but if you go closely, it's all got an edge and a corner. So everything's got a square corner to it. This essentially creates the same thing. So from every angle you see it, it looks, you know, from the back it looks really nice and round and it follows the head shape. But you turn to the side, you've got a square element. This side, you've got a square element. Take a section from in between the last two sections. So you've got your guide in there. Come out of the way. So we're pulling this guide over here in to where the section was taken last. And you'll see your guide fall through. There we go, there's my guide. Straight out, straight across, completely parallel. And then I cut. In. Guide underneath, guide from the top. Just keep it nice and straight. You can see I'm coming straight out from the head, not angling it down or up. Now what I'm doing is I'm breaking up his hair now. So if you look at that, around this side, Liam, more than having the kind of long layer coming out and another layer coming out again, more than having like long hair, then another section long hair, then the bottom. We've now got sections shorter all the way through, short and long, which as he runs his hair down like that, it just falls really nice. Good. So how much length come off this side? Just simply following my guide from before. Get across. But I know, that'll follow my guide. So I'm matching up the way, as you can see, it's this side was really long compared to that side. Now, that could be the last cut, that could be the growing phase, we don't know. But as we know, it still is much longer than the other side. So at least we know, we know we're balancing this haircut in. There's my guide. There we go, follow that. My guide underneath. And this side all the way back. There's our guide there. So we're just mainly cutting the sopper here. Got that length sitting long through there. It looks really quite thinned out at the bottom, so I think the stronger we do it, do it nice and blunt, we'll just use the razor at the end to break that up. Well, that'll do it to strengthen the neckline for you. Okay, I'm going to use this just, the reason why I have a section like this, just to make it easier visually for me to see. If it's all pulled down, you can get a bit lost, so just making it easier for myself. Bring that down, I'm going to take it off, be about that much. Okay, because look, that's where it looks, look how dry that the ends are. They're just kind of flicking in nowhere, aren't they? They're not really bringing anything to it. Middle finger's resting on his back, and then weight that down to match. I'm gonna keep this nice and straight, okay? I'm gonna show you all them bits flying out, that's fine, they need to grow out, that's fine. But essentially that's what we're looking for, that kind of shape there, okay? So matching up to the middle. There's my midsection in the middle there. Fingers nice and straight. But again, as you can see, in the same shape coming through the other side. What we'll do, just to balance off the sides now as well, we'll just take that section, from behind the ear, and we'll look at where we can find the strongest point of the sides. And let's see, as you can see, it's quite uneven. See, see it's got like quite a short element through that first bit there. So what I would probably be tempted to do is leave it. Good, good telling me to leave it. Only because I want this to grow out, and there's no point in me cutting it to match the shorter element, because then you just be taking back a couple of months. So I think we just let the shorter bit grow through, and then we'll be there. But you won't notice it at all in the haircut. You won't see it, because you're not going to wear it down, okay? You're going to be wearing it tucked back. So you won't notice it, but I just think we need to grow it out, so I wouldn't worry about touching that yet. I just let that grow out, all right? What I'll do now is I will do the side bends of the neck just to tie them up, all right? Just strengthen up this bit now. Just that when he wears it back behind his ears, he's got a lovely clean finish to the sides. Gonna work in, clipper over comb. Good thing is for the guys as well, anyone with a beard or anyone who does shave a lot, by exposing the sides like this, the side burn, it really helps guys find the sideburns and the shaving. So it's a good little technique to do as well for to give someone a little bit of a helping hand when it comes to shaving as well. I'm gonna use a one and a half on that just to balance it up a little bit. Because it looks like we're maybe shaved last or something, it's kinda of, it's too short or something like that. He's trying to have a little go of himself. So you can instantly see when your hair is tucked back how smart that looks, even though you've got long hair. Just that little detail is amazing. Well, 
So we're not going too far into that neckline too much. Just a little loose bit of neck hair there. We'll just tidy up with a clipper over comb. We're not going in with any too harsh lines and often just going to work up to the hair. And I don't want to create too harsh a line because you might see that through the hair when it's sitting flat. What we'll do at the top, we'll just connect in to balance. And that's pretty much it at the top. Don't want to do any texture to it. I'm going to grow this hair out, so we're trying to stay away from doing too much of that. Quite a wide vertical section again. Pull that out and just find the guide underneath. And just connect straight on like that. So what we're doing is we're still keeping length in there. We're just starting to connect this top in a bit more now. You've got the short, see the top that's coming from here will stay long here, but underneath these sections will all get shorter. And as it drops, it drops into the hair. It doesn't hang over the hair like it was. So all, when you pull it all out now, it will all connect all the way up. Over here now, off centre. There we go, much more. Just before the center, get back from the front, straight out. Off center. What this does by not cutting it down the center, as he brushes his hair back, it can allow it to fall either way. If it was cut to a center part, all the weight would be sitting from the center. There we go. All the way out, so there's not much coming off. Let's take a section from the front. The crown just before the apex. We're using our guy from here. And this around. Drop it down slightly. And connect the back in. Everything back. Put it out and put it horizontally to maintain that length as well. To maintain the length we want it to. And as you can see, what I said before, it looks like a longer haircut now because the top isn't the longest point. The bottom and the sides are the longest points. So you've got like a longer hair cut. Dry this quite loosely for you, okay? Let that air dry through the brush. That's quite a nice natural finish to it. It's falling now. Got a nice and flick, more than it being low, the layers of flicks. So got a bit of weight in there now. So the, the air blows through the brush. Like that. So you see both sides are sitting the same now. With a little bit of heat. No one side's flicking out any more than the other way if it wasn't the start. Just adding that little bit of heat and trying to balance it as much as we can. I think it was flicking out a lot as well because that side was so much longer than everywhere else. And I'm just using my fingers just to dry it. But I want to try and create a very nice natural look for you. It's, it's achievable at home, you know? I, I love some of the styles you see at the moment, but it's so unachievable sometimes like on the on the day-to-day -day basis that I think if I can try and give you a look that you can walk around with every day is what I always try and do for, for guys, you know. And then the big rule of thumb is just to finish off with a bit of cold air as well, okay? So you've got heat, if you haven't got a cold button, just turn your heat off and just finish it off. Now with the razor, just freehand, I'm going to pick little bits up that I want to really emphasise, okay? So he wants this to sit around his ear. So I might just pick a little bit up through here and just razor through. So again, just using visual. Where it's dry, you're not going to get too much of a pull because you're just working on the ends. Just to break it up a tiny bit. First down the powder, through your hands, and then through the hair. And what it does, it just gives a little bit more control to the hair. Nice little bit of shine. Put your fingers there for a bit more natural. Yeah, you know, however it wants to fall, go with it. That's what I would say at the moment, okay? How's that length for you, mate? Happy? Yep, thanks, man. You're welcome, mate. So now what you've got is a longer looking hairstyle. Yeah. More than it being really top heavy and kind of uneven on the back and sides. See that? How's that? Happy, yeah? Thank you so much. You're welcome, mate. Thank you. Right, so to, uh, to recap, what we did was um, we obviously want to grow his hair out, so we're trying to find a way of doing that with it still looking nice and being able to achieve things at home with it as well. So what we did was 
if the back, we, as we went through the back and sides, did a whole shoe section first of all, and then we left the sides, uh, we didn't touch the sides at all, we over directed them back into just behind the ear, and then we went through cutting the back in a little bit, just to create a bit of shape and break it up a little bit, just so he's got movement through it that allows him to kind of have a little bit of kind of texture and whatnot through the back. What that allows us to do is grow the sides out so then they match down the bottom over yeah. the next course of what, four, five, six months, maybe however long he wants to grow it for really. Um, but what that allows him to do is keep that coming behind his ear, like that. So you still get that little flick behind the ear. But now it starts looking like a longer hair because it doesn't look like really top heavy and short and kind of one side's a bit longer than the other. Um, so we balanced it all the way through the back and sides, cut it. I probably took off maybe about, I don't know, about an inch or so, maybe half an inch off the back. Um, but just to the point where it leveled out. So you need to leave the length through here to grow it out to then match up through the middle as well. So the sides are becoming longer to match the sides here. And then you cut the middle a bit shorter just to balance everything when it gets pushed back. All right. Um, then through the top, we went uh, vertically to kind of just connect in the top of the haircut. Because again, it was really long, but now it matches in to everywhere else, as you can see. Uh, and then we just had a little bit of razor at the very end just to kind of break up the thickness and a little bit of where, you know, it was kind of sitting a bit heavier towards the, um, the occipital bone, but only very minimal detailing. And then finished off with a bit of powder just to kind of have a bit of grip and help Sodden kind of keep a brush back for him for the, for the time being. And that was kind of it, really. Um, yeah, I love it. Nice. It's wicked. It's cool, man. You're welcome, man. Thank you.